Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lorette Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the floating label edit text. Uh, what is a label edit text? Uh, a label edit text is always is like a, a hint, right, uh, in your form field. Uh, majorly in the input fields where you're going to have a sort of hint, uh, which is like a short instruction of what you actually need to uh, type into this uh, the particular uh, portion or the particular space uh, being given. Okay, well, we'll be talking about how to actually create a floating label whereby a click on an input field will, will actually stick the label upwards and still uh, remain there so that you can still see the instruction instead of it dis disappearing from the uh, input field. And also, we'll be doing uh, a sort of, uh, let me say, uh, a sort of uh, 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 getting uh, the forms validated. You know, we're going to have a validation right on the form, but we are not going to be implementing or be working on the data gotten from the form. We're actually just going to uh, incorporate a floating label edit text and also we do the validation right on the form field. Okay, I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have the source files. I'll be talking, I'm right at the Gradle scripts. Uh, we have the project and the module app session. In the module app session, we have our compiler SDK 23 and the compile debut tools version 23.0.3. Also, we have our dependencies, the app compact version 7 and the support design 23.0.0. Okay, uh, that's the dependencies we have. Uh, let's move to the build gradle project session uh we have our class part the build gradle 1.3.0 that's fine uh we'll be moving straight to the rest uh let's get to look at the layout files of this application uh the layout is going to be the activity underscore sign up xml just one uh xml file we'll get to look at the initializing rendering uh in a little bit uh let's get to look at the text before getting to look at the ui okay uh we have a linear layout with an orientation of vertical uh, the padding of 10 dp uh, we have another linear layout right inside it with the padding left and right of 20 dp is orientation of vertical and we have uh, our, the android support design widgets text input layout okay this uh, layout center horizontal is true and the margin top is 10 dp we have an id text as well with an id of sign up input name with the width and height match parent and wrap content respectively Okay, this is the int we're talking about where we're going to actually be implementing uh, the label edit text, the floating label edit text. The, the int here is for name. That means this portion is to input your name. Uh, we have the other one, uh, another text input where the edit text is for email. You know, this is for the email address. Uh, we have for the text, another text input. Why this is for the password. Uh, this text input is for the date of birth. A uh, closing tag. Uh, we have a relative layout where the padding top is 20 dp a text we follows which is actually showing the font feature that's uh, telling us for the password and we have the radio group we are going to have the radio buttons here where the radio group orientation is horizontal and the radio button follows with an id called male radio button this is for the male text another follows which is for the female a closing radio group for the closing tag for the opening tag and the closing relative layout we have a big button uh, with an ID called button sign up uh, where the text on it is called sign up a closing linear layout and also the closing parent linear layout let's get to look at the design view okay uh, this is how the uh, UI is going to be this is the int uh, of the particular text of the particular input view the email the, the password the date of birth uh, the, uh, the radio group with the male and female and the big sign up okay that is going to be validation right on all these fields we we'll get to see that in our Java class we get to look at the anim, which is the animation. We're going to have a shake XML, which, which there's going to be a shake uh, animation right on the uh, on the UI. We have the set tag where we have the interpolator calling from the Android anim overshoot interpolator. Uh, the translate for the offsets uh, starting from 100. We have for 150, 260, uh, 360 with their X delta, and also for 510. Okay. Uh, we have the closing set uh, tag, which is in the anim uh, folder. Okay, let's look at the strings. Uh, we maintain the int of the date of birth, the password, the gender, the male, the female. So these are all text fields, uh, which are actually picked up from the uh, XMLs. 
Okay, let's get to look at the sign up activity, which is the uh, logic of this particular uh, application. Okay, uh, scroll up. Uh, we imported the text input layout, the app compact, the animation, and also the animation utilities. Okay, uh, the EDIS class extends app compact activity where we created several fields uh, the register activity, the vibration, the vibrator, the beep. The anim shake, you know, the sign up, input name, the email, the password, and the date of birth. Uh, for the layout name, the layout email, for the password, and also for the date of birth. Well, but for the button sign up, our create methods uh, call on the super create and set the content view to the activity sign up. Uh, this is where we uh, initialize the object created and passing the its corresponding ID gotten from the XML activity sign up, you know, where we call on its IDs. Okay. And uh, over here for the anim shake, uh, we're going to call on the animation utilities where we're going to load the animation from the anim uh, folder where we're going to call on the shake XML. Uh, also for the vibrator, we're going to get a system service, which is uh, a an address service from the device. We're going to set an on click listener to the button side sign up. So what are the methods that we're going to be calling? We have for the submit form, this is going to check for the name. It's going to set the animation shake onto it and also for the vibration okay this is also going to check for the email that's if it's not uh check name and if it's not check email that's not this for the password and for the date of birth okay uh if it's not it's going to set error mess error enabled you know this is when if it's not there's, there's going to be an error you know coming up back that you just have to do this you no know, based which is going to actually set it up in the input layout name for the email, for the password, and the data pad. Probably you put in a wrong uh, password, a wrong uh, email address, and a wrong uh, set of uh, of uh, of names. You no, know? so so this is going to actually, if it's not, you no, know, it's actually going to make it successful register that if it's actually checked and it's true. But if it's not, it's going to set an error message. That's just what that's doing. Okay, for the check name, it's going to check for the input name get the stacks and also the string and trim it up it's going to come back to string trim it up and also check if it's empty you no know, all this will be done if uh it's uh, it doesn't pass uh any of these are uh, parameters uh you're going to set the error enabled to it okay the same thing goes for the email and the same thing goes for the password you know, you're going to check if it's empty in a password now the check date of birth uh method that's been passed into uh the uh the uh the the methods upward now it's going to have a try and catch method to test for the date and also test for the month if it's less than 32 probably if you input a, a date that is uh greater than 32 definitely uh that strong or if you input a date a month that is greater than 13 you know we don't have any 13th month okay that's what that is going to do it's going to test for it also we have for the uh is valid email this way it's going to check if it's a valid email address First of all, it's going to check if it's empty, and also it's going to check for the pattern. This is calling from the Android utils, where it's going to check the email address and the matcher email. Okay. Also for the request focused. Okay, it's going to get the window, set the soft input mode uh, based on the window manager and the layout parameters. Okay, let's get to look at the manifest. In the Android manifest, uh, we have a permission called Vibrate. The Android Grind up permission vibrate because we're going to call a vibration, you know, right on the text field. Okay. Uh, and also we have the activity which is the launch activity, which is the sign up activity. That's the only activity we have in this application. Okay, I'll be uploading the source files to my GitHub account and also I'll be testing this in an Android emulator. So stay tuned. Here we go with the application, the floating label edit text. Uh, can you get to see the fields, uh, the input field, the name, the email, the password, the date of birth? Okay, uh, I click on the email, uh, input field gets the floating uh, int upwards, which the email stick upward. The same thing goes for the password, the same thing goes for the uh, date of birth. Now let's get to check out the validation. Uh, so I'll, I'll input a name called Delaroy. Studios. Okay. 
right in the email i'm going to test for something i'm just putting something funky okay the password one two three four date of birth we need to follow the uh the rules the date the month for the year so what's the date i say 26 month or five year 1980 okay uh mail let's maintain mail and let's click on sign up and let's see if it's actually going to accept this do you notice uh the input error text please enter a valid email definitely uh there's validation working it notices that this is not a valid email so you can actually use this uh uh this ui for your startup into uh forms in uh, android you know it's a good framework you know you can even build on on it by passing the values or data gotten from it and uh, save it into uh, a database okay uh, so let me uh, try to uh, correct this so mambo 1k that's cam okay sign up you are successfully registered then you notice that so validation is right working and our floating label edit text to is work smooth smoothly all right thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye